measurement of length the distance from one point to another point is called length in our day to day life we need to measure length height and distance for which scientists have devised various techniques and instruments there are different standard units for measuring length such as millimeter centimeter decimeter meter kilometer foot and inches length can be measured using different instruments like ruler a measuring tape a meter rod For measuring every object we use different units as per the convenient of the required purpose For smaller objects we use millimeter and for longer objects we use meter For example length of your notebook is measured in centimeter height of a boy is measured in inches length of a school dress is measured by tailor in meter in ancient times fingers hands arms and feet we used to measure length span a span was the length of a hand stretched out about 9 inches cubit in ancient times a cubit was the distance from the elbow to the fingertips a cubit is about 18 inches foot in ancient times the foot was the length of an average man's foot using ruler to measure the length of an object before measuring a length with the help of a ruler let us learn the units used in measurement with ruler A ruler is a measuring stick marked with units for measuring an object or small distance between two points. These can be made of plastic, cardboard or metal marked with units for measuring length along its edge. The units can be in inches or centimeters and millimeters. A metric ruler is used to measure centimeters and millimeters along the top and inches along the bottom 1 cm is equal to 10 mm a centimeter is a unit of length in metric system there are 2.54 cm in an inch a 12 inch ruler is about 30 cm long how to measure length using a ruler place the scale in contact with the object along its length a to b ensure to keep your ruler straight along the length of an object point a is the start point 0 of the ruler and point b is the end point for measuring length The reading of the ruler at point B 
gives the length of an object. Here, the point B reads as 13 centimeters. That is, the length of the object measured is 13 centimeters. Precautions we should take while measuring length. Keep the ruler straight along the length of an object to be measured or else we will not get the correct measurement as shown in the diagram. If we tilt the ruler, the ruler does not give correct measurement. In some scales, the ends of the ruler may be broken. You may not be able to see the zero mark clearly. In such cases, you should avoid taking measurements from the zero mark of the scale. You can use any other full mark of the scale, say 1.0 centimeters. Then you must subtract the reading of this mark from the reading at the other end. For example, the reading at one end is 1.0 centimeters and at the other end it is 14.3 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the object is 14.3 minus 1.0 centimeters, which gives us 13.3 centimeters as shown in the diagram. Keep your eye vertically above the point where measurements is to be taken. The reading from different positions would be different as shown above. The correct position is just vertically above the reading of the scale to be noted. Using measuring tape to measure height of a boy. Remove the shoes of a boy and make him stand straight with back against the wall. Make sure legs are straight, arms are at sides and shoulders are level. Place a scale on his head and make a mark on the wall. Measure the length from mark to the floor with a measuring tape. Take all precautions for correct measurement of length. Record the height of a boy with the help of an inch tape. Measuring the length of a curved line. We cannot measure the length of a curved line directly by using a meter scale. We can use a thread to measure the length of a curved line. Use a thread to measure the length of the curved line AB. Put a knot on the thread near one of its ends. Place this knot on point A. Now, place a thread along the line using your fingers and thumb. Make a mark on the thread where it touches the end B. Now stretch the thread along the meter scale. Measure the length of the thread from the beginning 
and the final mark. This gives us the length of the curved line AB. We need to take a lot of care to ensure that we are measuring distances and lengths correctly.